At low tide, August 28th, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers breached a levee separating fallow farmland and Possession Sound salt waters. When the tide returned from Ebby Slough, it began restoring 360 acres of salt marshes like it was more than a century ago. A U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Tulalip Tribe of Washington partnership, the Quilute Estuary Restoration Project is part of a 16 square mile Snohomish River estuary that historically included marshes, lowland forest, mud flats, and interconnected channels. Tulalip tribe ancestors traversed the area by canoes and it offered a wide variety of plant and animal life. In the early 20th century, a dike and tide gates were constructed, preventing tidal access and destroying the estuary's marsh habitats. The $3.7 million two-phase restoration construction project took just over two years to complete. In phase one, the Corps built a 4,000-foot setback levee to protect local infrastructure and residents. For phase two, 1,400 feet of the old dike was lowered, and this 270-foot breach will allow tidal inundation, restoring tidal processes. It will ultimately improve local streams and wetlands for fish, such as endangered Chinook salmon, bull trout, and steelhead. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Seattle District, I'm Bill Dowell.